welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today we're gonna to start a three-part series on solving word problems with algebra. And in this series, we're gonna take a look at different types of word problems and how to use algebra to solve each of them. So let's get started. So our first example says, a painter uses the expression 32H plus 35C to determine how much to charge a customer for a job that takes H hours and C cans of paint. His last job required four cans of paint and took 16 hours to complete. How much did the painter charge? Okay, so in this example, we have an equation, we have two variables, and we have the values for each of those variables. And those two variables are H and C, and they tell us that C is four because C is the cans of paint, H is the number of hours. And so all we're gonna really do here is just take those values and plug them into our equation and solve for the price or the cost. So let's do that. I'm gonna say P is the price, so P equals 32H plus 35C. I'm gonna plug in 16 for H and four for C. Then I'm going to use my calculator to solve for the numbers. So 32 times 16 is 512, and 35 times 4 is 140. I'm going to add those two together, and I get P, or the price, is $652, which means this painter is going to charge $652. All right? Now let's change it up a little bit. Let's look at a similar problem, but this time it's asking us to solve something different. A painter uses the same expression, 32H plus 35C, to determine how much to charge a customer for a job that takes H hours and C cans of paint. His last job required seven cans of paint, and the customer was charged $373. How many hours did it take for the painter to complete the job? So in this case, we're using the same equation, but we're given two different var variables and they ask us to solve for something other than the price. So in my equation, we have P or the price equals 32H plus 35C, but this time they tell us the price and they tell us the number of cans of paint and they want us to figure out how many hours it took. So we're gonna plug in what we have. And we, when we do that, we get 373 equals 32H plus 35 times seven. So using my calculator, 35 times seven is 245. So now I have an equation with just one variable, the h. So I need to solve for h. And the first thing I'm gonna do to solve for that is I need to get 32h all by itself. And so to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 245 from both sides. When I do that, I'm left with 128 equals 32h. So now I had just the variable or the term with the variable on the right and the number on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by 32 because that is the number multiplying my variable. And remember with solving equations, you always do the opposite step. So when I divide by 32, I'm gonna get four on the left and H all by itself on the right, which means that this job took four hours to complete. Okay, let's look at one more example. In this example, it says the price of Jesse's meal before tax and tip was $9.35. Jesse paid a 7% tax and then she added a 20% tip to the total. To the nearest cent, how much did she pay for her meal? So this is an important word problem because there's several pieces of information that we could use to figure out how to solve for the final price. They tell us the original price of the meal, which is $9.35. Um, and then it says she paid a 7% tax and then added a 20% tip. That, that word then is actually really key because it tells us as far as wh what number we need to calculate for the 20% tip. Um, we're not taking 20% of the 935, we're taking 20% of whatever is determined after adding 7% tax to the 935. And so there's a difference in what we would get for our final value. So let's look at the steps we need to solve this. The first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what 7% of $9.35 is, and we need to add it to $9.35. 
And the second step is we need to figure out, all right, based on what we got in step one, we need to figure out what's 20% of that and then add it to what we got in step one. So step one, figuring out 7% of 35. In previous videos, I've said that the word of in math means multiply. So I'm going to basically take $9.35 and multiply it by 7%. And one way to write 7% is 0 0.07. So using my calculator, 9.35 times 0 0.07 is going to get me 0 0.65. All right. So that's what 7% of 935 is. Now I'm going to take that 65 cents and I'm going to add it to 935. And when I do that, I get an even 10, right? So that's a nice clean number. Now, that's what I get for step one. Now I need to figure out what 20% of that value is and add it to what I got. So I'm gonna take the 10, I'm gonna figure out what's 20% of that. So I'm gonna take 10 times 0 0.2, and that gets me two. I'm gonna take that value, I'm gonna add it to 10. So 10 plus two is 12. And so that means after the 7% tax and the 20% tip after that, the total amount that Jessie paid for her meal is $12. So I hope this helps when you get to solving word problems using algebra. You really want to take the information that you're given. And sometimes it's as simple as plugging in the values to your variables and solving. Sometimes you just got to figure out what the right steps are to use to solve the problem. Be on the lookout for the next two parts in this series where we'll take a look at other types of word problems and how to solve those with algebra. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.